Corn, it's one of the staple crops humans eat all over the world. It's also a key ingredient in many classic Thanksgiving dishes. From a side of corn to cornbread and even pies and gravy that are made with cornstarch, corn can be found in almost every dish imaginable. In 2022, the United States alone produced 13.7 billion bushels of corn. The fall harvest has been celebrated since the first Thanksgiving, a tradition that stemmed from taking time to savor a successful harvest that overcame environmental challenges of their time. Whether it be drought, soil conditions, or any of the various factors that can negatively impact a crop, it is without a doubt that the food we grow is a hard-earned task. If you're wondering what it takes to grow all that corn, pesticides that kill insects and weeds are a common component. In 2021, 96% of planted acres of corn use some sort of herbicide. But are we using pesticides the right way? And what if we're overusing pesticides? I'm an environmental toxicologist at Georgetown University who spent seven years working in the Environmental Protection Agency. Together, I'd like to unearth more sustainable ways to keep pests away while still giving us all a fall harvest that we can be thankful for. We are always learning and experimenting with new farming methods to help increase food production and support food systems. In 1939, scientists discovered that the chemical DDT had incredible insecticidal properties. It quickly became a staple on American farms. But pests soon developed strong resistance to DDT. DDT also caused significant environmental damage and was linked to reproductive problems in humans who were exposed to it. This is one of the reasons why the U.S. banned most uses of DDT in 1972. While farmers no longer use DDT, Many farmers today use what we call broad-spectrum pesticides to handle insects and weeds harmful to crops. Like DDT, these pesticides not only kill pests, but also other insects like bees, which are essential in pollinating plant life. Many people believe broad-spectrum pesticides are an easy, cheap, and foolproof way to deal with pests. But many farms overuse these pesticides before they even have a pest problem. To reduce pesticide use, we need to consider Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. IPM is a set of strategies designed to maintain agricultural output while still dealing with pests and minimizing pesticide use. Some strategies include using more optimal fertilizer solutions that make the soil as fertile as possible, giving crops a competitive edge over invasive weeds. Altering the planting schedule for when crops are first planted by even a few weeks can make a significant difference. For example, planting corn slightly earlier in the season can make the crop more resilient when certain pests peak in the summer, limiting the damage to corn. Farmers can also increase the crop diversity on their farms to mitigate pests. A large farm growing many different crops limits the amount of food available to any one pest, which contains the damage done to a farm. At the heart of IPM is having a comprehensive understanding of your crop, the pest, and the surrounding environment. Having this knowledge informs farmers on the best strategies to deal with any specific pest. Taken together, IPM can reduce crop loss, increase profits, and lead to a more sustainable agricultural system that limits human exposure to harmful chemicals. Here at Georgetown, our community works in our Hoya Harvest Garden to practice various IPM strategies. From cover crops to companion planting, we are able to have more fruitful harvests while keeping pests at a minimum. Our hope is that through applied learning and research, we can care for our common home and to improve food systems for future generations to enjoy a happy and healthy Thanksgiving.